Since the 40 MLAs of Manipur have submitted a memorandum to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 9, we have one member of the signatory, Mr. Mayang Lambam Rameshwar, MLA of Kakjing constituency. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Rather sir? good afternoon. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, please tell us what are the main points of the memorandum that has been submitted to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and has the central leaders given any sort of solution for the ongoing crisis in the state? I think uh, by now in most of the national as well as media in the state of Manipur, uh, it has already come out very clearly the uh, six points on which the memorandum was submitted. Uh, I for uh, for us the one of the most important uh, uh, me, uh, this uh, content of the memorandum is about no separate administration under any circumstances, which uh, all the forty MLAs who has signed the memorandum has agreed upon. Secondly, uh, sue agreement between the cookie militants and state government and uh, government of India should be resigned because uh, during this agreement the ground rules are not being followed by the uh, Sioux Kuki militants. They have been roaming freely amongst the civilians along with the weapons. Uh, these are uh, very uh, evident and obvious in those peace rallies that have been organized in places like Chuchanpur, where many of the Sioux militant groups are walking around with sophisticated weapons, AK-47 and other sophisticated weapons. Uh, these are the evidence that no ground rules have been uh, followed. And, uh, uh, Connected with this point, uh, one of the narratives that the agencies, many of the agencies have been trying to build uh, and uh, spread rumors to the people of Manipur that all the Sioux Kuki militants are now in the camps, in their respective camps, and all the weapons are with them. But the question is, if all of them are in the camps with the weapons, then how the firing from the other side is still going on. Who's firing from that side? And who is supplying them those sophisticated weapons? That is a big question. So these, before building this kind of narrative that also cookie militants are in the camp and the weapons are with them, we need to seriously study and understand exactly who are these people who have been let loose by external forces to create problem for not only Manipur but for the government of India. So I have been always saying that it is a matter of national security. The third point that we have insisted is that there should be disarmament of all the people who are carrying the weapons, the miscreants all over the state and who is becoming and creating such a situation that it has become for law and order to be maintained and for the authorities to operate and solve this problem of external aggression. I call it external aggression because international cookie militants across the border from Myanmar are coming in and attacking to the people of Manipur and these people have built up this kind of a base, this kind of a, a network since many years. It's not a matter of uh, this incident has suddenly come from nowhere and in the last three months or four months it has happened. It has been because of wrong policies because of uh, ineffective administration of the previous governments that uh, the people who are into this Sioux agreement has been uh, set free and roaming around without maintaining the ground rules of the Sioux agreement and this has helped them in you know regrouping uh, rebuilding them and also 
uh, re strengthening them in terms of weapon in terms of their network so this is one of the points that we need to disarm these miscreants and uh, external cookie militants international militants uh, that is coming from uh, uh, across the border and one of the point is about uh, assam rifles today uh, we cannot generalize and say that entire units of assam rifles are bad because me being from kaksin constituency uh, when there was a initially when the problem started in more and 4500 Uh, my days were stuck in more uh, with the help of the assam rifles uh, sector 26 uh, and uh, 28 we have brought out these people in association with the uh, more mate council and other uh, tamilian brothers and uh, hindus who are settled that side and who wanted to come across this side we had tell the taken the help of assam rifle and assam rifle has helped us even in case of sugnu sero also they have helped us on some occasions so we cannot say that uh, you know all assam rifle entire assam rifle is bad that's why you must have seen in our memorandum we have mentioned three units uh, 922 and 37 who have uh, been an obstacle for the state forces while trying to uh, fight out these international terrorists and when they're moving to the place of uh, you know the uh, confrontation uh, they have been stopped then these units have uh, try to stop our state forces from fighting out these uh, external forces who is trying to you know create problem for the state of manipur and for the country as such so that's why so um, our opinion is that uh, what whoever may be the security agency if any security agency is working in the interest against sorry against the interests of the people of manipur then we are bound to stop them because the people of manipur the mothers sisters and everyone is only worried about our security the security of manipur integrity of manipur we are afraid that some people at their personal level are hand in glove with this external aggress- aggr- aggressors and trying to disturb the national security of india and manipur uh one of the most important point uh, which i had uh, when i had met uh, honorable union home minister misaji was that the fight is between uh, the difference i mean difference of opinion is uh, between the uh, indigenous kuki and indigenous people in the belly and these misunderstanding need to be sorted out see when we say kuki we are not trying to include those kukis who are indigenous kukis who have lived here uh, since before 1961 but somehow because of the you know because of the uh, malpractices and the strategic style of this international terrorists they have tried to use the emotion of the local indigenous cookies and try to put we manipuris against each other the 34 indigenous tribes that have been living peacefully for hundreds of years this international uh, terrorist external aggressors has tried to put a misunderstanding between us so i had requested that the honorable uh, union home minister that we should try and sit together all the 60 mlas of manipur we should sit down together on a table and discuss and sort it out at our level without having any external people who will influence uh, in the decision making uh, at the most uh, and uh, for the most important thing is we have to maintain the integrity of manipur as a state and the uh, Uh, inter uh, national boundary of india we should make sure that india is not broken into pieces we have to as a indian so that our nationalist feelings are including for the safety and the benefit of the people of manipur as a whole including all those 34 indigenous communities 
and you must have seen that when we have put up all these points uh, to the Honorable Union Home Minister, and even though we could not meet the Honorable Prime Minister in his parliamentary address, in uh, parliamentary address of the Honorable Union Home Minister, he has very clearly stated that he is with the people of Manipur, the people of India are with the people of Manipur. He will ensure that peace and harmony comes as soon as possible to the state of Manipur, for the people of Manipur. And he ensured us that Manipur will be very soon again back on the track in the path of development. And soon Manipur will be walking ahead, running ahead in the path of development. And we will ensure that Manipur is an integral part of India that has been a pride the tradition and the culture of Manipur has been upright and the love for the Prime Minister for the North East States also has been declared. The, the, he has indirectly uh, indicated that some external factors, uh, factors are trying to separate North East from India and you know uh, we know that earlier there has been many occasions where such attempts by external aggressors have tried. So he very slightly mention about it and we all have to be also very careful that uh, uh, people for their own personal interest in terms of you know uh, getting into any kind of business that is illegal uh, including poppy plantation or drug trading we should not be you know uh, caught in that kind of activity which is against the uh, law of the nation and who is uh, further rather encourages and helps in providing resources to those external aggressors who is trying to disturb the balance, uh, the geopolitics in Southeast Asia for India and trying to create a misunderstanding between the indigenous people of Manipur and the North East India. With these few words, I would like to thank Morning Bell for giving me this opportunity to express some of my personal views on the memorandum submitted. I am Tanya Naurim. This is TMB News.